Hello you lot, this is Keith Cooks, I'm Keith, and today I'm going to do something uh, in a hurry, uh, a bit of a quickie. Um, remember maybe six months ago I was doing it, I did, uh, I'd get like a chicken and I'd make five meals out of it. Today we'd been shopping and uh, come back with something we hadn't planned to get, a large quantity of fish. So Morrison supermarkets have bought up a whole load of fish and, and meat as well that was destined to be sold at restaurants. So, so identifying fish could be a bit tricky if you don't do a lot of uh, whole fish. Um, but this is a mackerel you can tell by the kind of tiger stripes on, on its upper back. This is a lemon sole which has got a sort of brownish orangish mottling on the top and a big orange patch always just behind the gill. So that's that. And then this is the place with white orangey dots. The herring, the herring I'm just guessing, I'm, pre I'm pretty sure that's herring. And those things, eh, not bothered. Now we, we rushed ahead and gutted those uh, before I thought that I should make a video of this. So uh, you missed that excitement. Um, but I haven't gutted the, the mackerel yet. So you can watch me do that, but be warned. I don't do this a lot, I'm not an expert, it's going to be messy, but it's going to get the job done. Alright, here's my little mackerel, and the first thing I want to do is make a cut from the tail to just behind the head, well, just behind the gills, and then open it up. So just uh, pull those out. Okay, now uh, just remove the head. Um, just behind the gills. And the tail too. So now I'll just cut down the middle and get your knife in under the sort of uh, backbone. And um, okay, so that's that fillet. Found another one. Uh, the other fillet, there's, there's just a few around this area. All right, this is getting a lot more complex than I planned. Actually, I haven't planned anything, so uh, yeah. Um, uh, the mackerel, where is it? I've lost it. Oh, I'll put it in the fridge. Um, right, I've just been looking for recipes for mackerel pate, they all use smoked mackerel which is already, you know, you can eat it as is um, but mine isn't smoked obviously so I need to I'll need to cook it a bit and the cooking involves using chicken uh, fish stock and I haven't got any fish stock yet so I've got to make that before I can do the pate Duh. Uh, so, it, but it's very simple, I've got all my um, uh, fish heads, bones and tails and i got a little onion and I got a bit of celery. Also we need a bunch of herbs. Okay so uh, I've got bay leaf, some parsley and some thyme. And uh, I don't know if I mentioned how much all this fish was because uh, <laughs> it's a bit amazing um, but it's slightly less amazing than, than than what I thought because I thought I'd actually paid five pounds uh, it turns out it's five pounds per kilo and we've got about one and a half kilos in there so seven pound fifty still an absolute bargain for what we've got uh, obviously downside but being got to do all the prep yourself but don't be scared I'm not okay fish stock just let that come to a simmer slap a bit on it let it bubble away for half an hour. Just remembered I've got me, uh, me two flat fish in the fridge um, which also need to be uh, gutted and filleted and everything and I've never actually done that with a flat fish so uh, this could be a little bit of an adventure. Okay there's my place hacked to bits uh, so I've got four little fillets um, and yeah so this can go in with the stock and yeah that's uh, <laughs> that was not easy 
uh, and I think that's probably why, um, well, fillet and place, uh, sole and place, uh, quite often cooked and served whole on the bone. Um, and now you know why. Anyway, it's done. We shall not speak of this again. All right, so I'm going to make the mackerel pate. I need to grab some of my stock. My tiny little mackerel fillets. This might turn out to be a completely pointless exercise, but not to worry. All right, there you go. And we'll just heat that up. I'll let it cook away, poach in there for about 10 minutes. All right, the uh, mackerel is cooked. Take out the pan and, oh, hot. <laughs> I get the skin off. It comes off very easily. Now I'm going to melt some butter in the saucepan. And mix in a bit of uh, cream cheese with the mackerel. Or you could also use creme fraiche if you prefer. And a splash of lemon juice. Oh, and a bit of dill. <laughs> Possibly not that much. Too late now. Just keep mashing that until I get a nice smoothish paste. And uh, just give it a little taste. Okay, and just uh, stick it in a ceramic bowl, dish, ramekin, whatever. <laughs> just pour the melted butter on top. Stick that in the fridge to set. Okay, so I'm going to make soused herrings, um, and I've got no idea why or what the difference is between that and pickled herrings. Uh, I'm actually doing the recipe from Delia Smith's complete cookery course, but not very accurately because I wasn't planning to do this. So I've got a pint of white wine vinegar. Um, a teaspoon of whole allspice berries, teaspoon of coriander seeds, teaspoon of half teaspoon of mustard seeds, one dried chili. I haven't got that, so I've used half a teaspoon of um, chipotle chili flakes, a couple of bay leaves, uh, two teaspoons of brown sugar. I haven't put that in yet. Bring it to the boil, simmer it for five minutes, then remove from the heat and let it cool down completely. And then we move on to the next stage. Now we need to brine the fish. So I've got uh, about a pint of water, half a litre, and a heap tablespoon of salt. Pop your fish in, get them all separated, and they need to sit in that for about three hours. Okay, uh, three hours have passed, so we're gonna assemble these uh, soused herrings. So I've rinsed the fillets that were brining. Uh, I've got some, I've got a gherkin, I've got a gherkin chopped into kind of matchsticks, and I've got half an onion chopped into half moon thingies so now i just need to roll them up and stick them in a jar all right so uh, oh uh, mustard yeah you want a bit of mustard this this is dijon but you can use any kind you like i suppose uh just very thinly spread it on the on the fishy side not on the skin side Okay, and then some onion, and then some gherkin, and roll it up. So just uh, pin them together with a uh, cocktail stick, like that. So there's all of our herring roll things, and uh, just packed into a, a plastic container, and with a slap lid on. So. That goes in the fridge and you can eat them after two days. 
Okay, I'm going to cook the uh, flat fish, the place, and the lemon sole. So here they are. I've just rinsed them and drained them, or dried them on kitchen paper. I'm just going to sprinkle them with salt. And then just dredge them in some plain all-purpose flour. Don't coat it both sides. Right, to cook the fish, I've got a frying pan on medium heat and a good glug of well, sunflower oil. That. And then a good blob of butter. Basically, we want the buttery flavour, but um, we don't want it to burn, so the oil, mixing it with oil, reduces its smoke point. And add fish. I'm trying to keep the, the two different fish separate in different halves of the, the pan. Probably won't work. Anyway, um, and you want those cooked for, well, just uh, a couple of minutes each side. Uh, I can actually smell the uh, sort of buttery flavour. <laughs> Which uh, <laughs> makes no sense at all, but I know what I mean. So, I'll just flip them over and give them a couple of minutes more on that side. And then we're more or less done. So, I'm just going to take all the fish out of the pan now. And this, this, uh, this recipe is uh, it's basically sold in the air. But, uh, Now I've added more butter, some parsley, and a squidge of lemon juice. <laughs> I maybe shouldn't have done that. But anyway, that's it. That's your sauce to pour over your fish. Done. All right, there it is, our assorted fish with tatties and petit pois and a squeeze of lemon and a squeeze of this fishy dishy, which is tartar sauce that I stole from a restaurant or a cafe uh, about two years ago, I think. So yeah, it's about time we used it up. And here's Mrs. Keith Cooks getting stuck in. Delish. Mm. Delishy fish. Or words of your choice. <laughs> yeah, have some fish. It is nice, actually. I don't know what that is, but it's nice. And this is the one that's got the. Uh, oh, so this. Oh, that's don't, a don't make me do this. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, you've got half, one half of one and half of the other. So there you go. Right, peeps, that's what you can do mm. if you accidentally bite a ton of fish that you don't really have a plan for. <laughs> so, alright, enjoy, try, bye, see you next time. <laughs>